Hey guys, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Super English Dub Reaction. So before we get started, just wanted to mention that we have a new video up on our second channel, Ray and Danny TV. It's another mukbang, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Also, she's back. Yes. Um, you might have not noticed it, but she was gone for a week. That's why all of these videos that we're about to bombard you with are... You know, were, they were uh, put on hold for yeah, last week. They were supposed to. Some of them were supposed to come out last week, mm -hmm. but since her, I was away on vacation. Her stupid ass cruise. <laughs> we had to delay everything. So. Yeah. So, but I'm back and we're ready to put out a lot of content, a lot of videos for you guys. So stay tuned for everything. Yeah. Um, uh, we got this one, and then there's 94. This is the latest one, and then we got Flash, which came out last week. Gotta do that. There's another Flash tomorrow. Yeah, from um, the time we're recording this. Yeah, and then, and then we still have My Hero, yeah. episode two. And I have a vlog to edit as well. Yeah, so, so. she yeah she vlogged her, her cruise. Just so. a little bit. Don't so. expect anything crazy. Yeah, subscribe to the second channel so you can see all of her adventures and shit. All right, so last, Two episode. weeks, uh, last episode for Dragon Ball Super. Um, yeah. It was it was a uh, Khalifa. Yeah. Khalifa. She transformed. She transformed. And then and Frieza. Then Frieza, yeah. They That's mentioned Frieza because they needed a replacement for Boo, and Goku suggested Frieza. Mm -hmm. So and that obviously wasn't well received by the group. I want to see what else they have in store for us. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Because I'm not planning to use the Dragon Balls. You're not? Wait, so how is he going to get them back? I'll just ask Fortune Teller Baba to bring him back for 24 hours. Yeah, just like how Goku came back before. I'm interested in seeing Frost and Frieza. I know. Like fighting each other. Because they're like a copy of each other. Yeah. One of the other universes has produced mortals so strong even their own destroyer can't defeat them. What? What? This destroyer in question is even stronger than Lord Beerus. <laughs> How's that possible? Stronger than Beerus? That's interesting. Who Who's the this? hell is this? Why is there a halo? Because it's only angel. temporary. Oh. But he's not an angel. I just don't think I'm capable of that. This Super Saiyan power up. She reminds me of Hinata. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Guess not. There's a lot of screaming. Oh. Oh shit. That's crazy. I bet you're good at it. This is already pissing her off. Them arguing, yeah. Here goes. You bird brain, big chicken. You push over you. Wow, he's not good at insulting. You get some kind of enjoyment from this. His insults are whack, though. I know. They're not even like insults. Oh, maybe for her it's not anger. It's emotion. That looks like Broly's aura. It's yeah. green, right? Am I colorblind or no, what? No, no, it looks like it. Dude. Oh! oh! She's the one from the intro! Dude, Damn. is she a legendary Super Saiyan? She got all buff too. Is she there, Broly? Yeah, yeah, she's definitely their Broly. Poor Lord Beerus, <laughs> scraping the barrel. I'm not so sure about that, sir. Oh, this oh. bitch is a spy. Oh. Have you been sending these spies of yours to other universes as well? That's oh, cheating. Yeah. Yo, um, their universe just got a lot scarier. Uh huh. Speaking of Broly, we, we might see it like sometime this week. So, again, guys, let us know if that's a good idea. Like, if it doesn't have any spoilers from this arc. Like, she's angry I was going to replace her! Oh, she's jealous! Oh. Does she have the hots for Caulifla? Probably. Cabo looks like Goten or Trunks compared, compared to, to Kale right now, yeah. as Broly form. Damn, she got the same moves as Broly too! Fascinating tale about me. 
consideration. It's, that's racist, but that's classic Frieza. You will use the Dragon Balls to truly bring me back. I knew it. Come on, Frieza. That's why he's alive yeah. in the Dragon Ball movie. I promise. If we win, I'll bring you back. Of course, it might take me some time to gather them all. Knowing Goku, he'll keep that promise. Yeah. Did he ever wish King Kai back, though? What are the rules? So about my payment. Huh? Of course, she's not gonna do it for free. Take this. What? Oh, that's a Zeno button. So that's episode ninety-three. Damn, yeah. we fucking missed like this insane episode. Thanks to your crews. You're welcome. Yeah, I think we witnessed Universe Six's Broly. Yeah. That's insane, dude. Kale. Kale. Kale, yeah. She's the most passive person ever. I guess that's what makes it such a surprise. Yeah. Is that you you wouldn't expect it from her. It's like It's like Hinata, Hinata. all of a sudden turning into the Hulk. Yeah. Her but, and her and Cauliflower have a thing. Yeah. Is it like a two-way thing or is it only like a I don't know. A one way Cause thing? Khalifa says like I did she just her, did like she a, just say that to like calm her down or did she mean it? You know? No, I mean like I feel like she means it a more of like a sisterly a sister? way. Cause she says that this is my sister, like one of my gang members that I I look at as and I view as a sister. Yeah, like that's I, how close we are. But but I think Kale feels more more than being a sister. Yeah. Like I feel like Kale is actually really into her. Yeah. And I just feel like, and then that's the thing too. Um, she was like, "Oh, you think that I'm into this pipsqueak?" Yeah. Khalifa said to about um Kaba. So I feel like I don't know. I feel like there, she doesn't view either of them that way. Anyways, she's not into Kaba. She's not into Kale. She's just kind of in for herself. I guess. But she cares about Kale as like family. Yeah, as a family. To Kaba. Yeah. Like I said, Universe Six just got a lot scarier. <laughs> yeah. I I wasn't very like. I know that you scared of them in a they sense. They have they have Broly and they have Hit. Yeah. We forgot about Hit. Yeah. I didn't expect them to I guess in a sense measure up to our fighters in a way. Like I thought that the best they had was Hit, which yeah. he is. He is. Granted. He, he beat Goku. Yeah. Blue but, Kaioken, he beat him. But the thing is, like, I thought he was just their ace. Like, that's it. That's it. The rest of them are whack. Yeah. But, no. It doesn't seem like it. They have at least two now. Yeah. I mean, Kaba's a good fighter, no doubt. But, and obviously, this isn't just a matter of strength. But in terms of skill, strength, and all of the above, it would be hit. Now, I guess we'll see how Kale matches up to that. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe they're bringing back Fiza. I know. Like, I, I I get it because they're out of options and they're running out of time. They're out of characters. <laughs> like, they don't have obviously time to develop like another character just for the yeah. story. I don't know why they keep bringing Boo in and then he subs out after. Yeah. I like I, I don't get what's the point of it. I guess to make it dramatic with Frieza, I don't know. I don't know. Cause like, this is the second time he did this. Mm -hmm. The second time, he falls asleep. He fell asleep. Like. He's one for three. Mm. The only time he came through was the exhibition, Zeno oh, Expo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The other two, he fell asleep. Yeah. But still, it's like, come on. There's nobody else they have their last resort is to recruit the dead mm -hmm. for 24 hours i mean if you think about it it does it's risky but it does increase their chances of winning because yeah. golden frieza is stronger than Blue. yeah it's risky but it's risky because he's freaking evil yeah because and then this whole thing like of course that's gonna be his his um eh, bargaining chip i guess yeah, see, I knew it. That's why, like, yeah. oh, if we win, bring, bring me, me back. back for real. Yeah. And it's like, it's, you know, if I didn't see the trailer, I wouldn't find that scene surprising because it's a Dragon Ball thing. You yeah. Know? Like, like, if you think about it, this whole franchise is, is rinse and repeat. Yeah. And, like, to some people, that might not be appealing to them, but... 
to the core fan base, like we still love it. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much you rinse and repeat it, we'll still watch it. You know? And then it's it's understandable too, because what's Frieza gonna get out of this? Yeah. Sure he gets to come back for twenty four hours, but then he dives right back into hell. Mm -hmm. That's nothing for him. Twenty four hours is like sure, whatever. He doesn't get any benefit out of that. Cause it's temporary. Mm -hmm. So now he has this uh, insurance that he'll actually come back for real if he fights and they win. How are they gonna be able to control him in a sense? Yeah. Like how is he gonna be able to uh, play by the rules? Like no killing, um, just pure ring out. Mm -hmm. Like what? What? Zeno in a sense gonna do or Beerus? Like there has to be another factor above. Somebody who's scarier to I mean, be able to scare Frieza to cooperate. Frieza is scared of Beerus. Remember in the Golden Frieza movie? Oh. He's scared of him. Okay. So, so there, there's that, yeah. Yeah. Because I was going to say, like, there needs to be something to keep Frieza in check. Otherwise, he'll just go on a rampage for 24 hours. Um. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Beerus, there was that quote from uh, Weezed. He said that like there's someone stronger than Beerus. There's yeah. an individual that's stronger than their destroyer who's also stronger than Beerus. Yes. Top? Or um uh Jiren? Jiren. Maybe. Cause he's he's the highlight of the intro. Yeah. Holy shit, you that's universe eleven. Which is another... Which um, is another threat. Yeah, another threat that we have to look out for. Universe 4, I feel like they're not yeah. necessarily they're, a threat. They're cheating, dude. They're, they're the spying. fact that they're spying, which is low-key sort of smart in a way, but I just feel like because they have to spy, their team themselves isn't up to par. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, why would you want to spy if you have a great assembled team, if your team's already good, you good, won't need to cheat. Yeah, yeah. You won't need to figure out what else, what else everybody has, because you know you guys are good already. So I'm not really worried about them. It just adds like more drama, yeah. I guess. So, anyways, what did you guys think of this episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Ray. I'm Danny. And we'll see you in episode 94.